I'm a little nervous for a few reasons. Oh, okay. I was hesitant to make this video. I was mad because I felt like I was duped. You all should know that the brand mislabeled, misdescribed. <gasps> I was able to get two bags. I don't think I'll be purchasing from them for a very long time. Okay guys, so to preface this, I'm a little nervous for a few reasons. One, this is my first shot with this brand. So obviously there's some first time jitters. Second, as I was reading comments or reviews, I either saw like rave reviews or like there were quite a few sprinkled in where it was like not worth it, but I have friends who have tried this brand and they like it. So I am trusting that this is going to be good. So I'm hoping it doesn't disappoint. Here it goes guys. Okay, I think this is the front. Oh, okay. It's really pretty, but I was fully anticipating it being a little larger. Okay, I was under the impression the bag was 18 inches. Even from the top, which seems to be the widest, it's like 17. I just definitely was under the impression it was gonna be bigger, and it's really just not. The leather, stunning, but overall size and perception of what it was online to what I got in person, def oh, okay. Definitely a little bit disappointing, so. Hello guys, I really truly don't know in the lineup of this video where this is gonna come. So if I'm introducing the video via this clip, hello, welcome to the channel. This is my dog Carl who likes to ruin my clips by drinking water literally every time I'm trying to film. But anywho, so <laughs> long way around of saying I was hesitant to make this video but I think it's necessary because it's been a whirlwind and I really feel like this information needs to be out there. So let me turn it around and let's get to the point of why I'm creating this video and then I will tell you why I was hesitant. So hold please. This brand, this brand right here guys, Hammett. Yes, I feel like it has been an internet sensation. I've definitely heard of it. And you know what, they were having a massive sale, too good to miss, so I decided it was time for me to take part in this brand because the bags look phenomenal. So let me open her up. The big reveal. The packaging is literally stunning, and we have this. Let me get her out of the dust bag, and I will show you what I got. Okay, guys, this is the bag I purchased. This is the Hammett Large Daniel. This is in the zest color. Truth be told, I was drawn very much because of the color. I am really looking for something orange, and I thought this was such a beautiful bag, especially for that sale price. These bags really run very, very high, so the sale made it very affordable. Now, upon seeing this bag on the website, it looked freaking massive. I will try to insert some photos, and I will insert the dimensions, the dimensions being key, okay? Now, I've really kind of gone about in my collection with this idea that I really am done for now with these medium sized bags because I really only carry two types of bags. I carry very small and I carry very large and I wanted this and intended this to be one of my very large bags because I carry a lot for work and I'm all over the place. I really do like these big, big bags because I wanna carry all of my work stuff. Now, the dimensions were 18 inches, okay? That is what the website said. So. Fully intended this bag to fit a 15 inch laptop. Obviously it's not gonna fit lengthwise, but widthwise is what I was anticipating. Let me put the laptop against the bag. Do you see what I see? Okay, the base, and I take, took pictures of me measuring it, so I will measure it. So from point to point on the base is 12 inches, meaning that this 15 inch laptop will not fit. Hammett describes this bag as 18 inches. When a brand 
describe something as 18 inches, my expectations are the 18 inches at the base, okay? That is what I expect it to be. If the bag narrows from top to bottom, like say Portland Leather Goods, for example, they will list that the bag narrows from top to bottom. So imagine my displeasure when I opened this bag and realized that it was truly not so much the carry-all that they kind of describe it as, and certainly not the 18 inch base that I thought it would be. I then tried contacting Hammett. I called first, no response. To their credit, it was Good Friday, and while I worked, I realized that most companies have off. Maybe they were one of them. So I sent an email over the weekend and I did get a response. I sent it Friday, got a response on Saturday. They did not even acknowledge the 18 inches. They were like, we don't, it was final sale because it, it was final sale because it was on sale, which I understand I get final sale, but I was mad because I felt like I was duped. So we went back and forth, back and forth. Ultimately, like I feel like they got a little passive aggressive. I was really frustrated. I always try to be friendly when it comes to returns, especially when I know that they're not allowed. But ultimately, like it's not a matter of disliking this bag, it's a matter of it was put one way, but it was sent in a definitely a different way. So I was actually kind of shocked in the reviews that nobody had talked about this because I read the reviews prior to purchasing and not one person talked about the base being a different size. So that is why I really wanted to make this video. I wanted to let you guys know that the base is a completely different size. And I was going to actually do a whole video because they were not doing anything for me. I was really air like angry, irritated in fact, because I just feel like I'm not returning this back because I dislike it. I'm returning because I feel, in my opinion, I was duped with the size. And Hammett was truly, truly unwilling to work with me. So today, I got a phone call. And it was from Hammett. It was from their customer service. And I, admittedly, guys, I did say I was going to make a video about my poor experience with Hammett. Because I feel like you all should know that the brand mislabeled, misdescribed, in my opinion. Maybe you guys have a different opinion, let me know. And, you know, I, the, I was going to advertise this to my community because I always want to be transparent with the bags that I buy without also stepping on the brand. I never want to step on the brand, but in this case, I felt like they had stepped on me and I wanted to put this information out there. So I got the call this afternoon and it was from Hammett and uh, one of the sales reps said, listen, we can't give you your money back. We can either give you, we can't give you your money back, but we can give you store credit. So I said, I, I'm happy with store credit, but my thing was, is I bought this during the sale and now the sale's no longer. So I could have my store credit, but I literally paid less than ha like half of what these bags normally are. When's your next sale? And she goes, how about I give you some options of like what we'd be willing to substitute it for with the dimensions that you have in mind, like what colors do you prefer? So I gave her like the options that I was looking for. I liked, you know, what colors I liked. And she ended up sending me pretty quickly actually like options of what I could could have in replace of this bag. So I picked a bag and now I'm shipping this one out and we're gonna tag this video with the bag that I get in return. I do know that the bag coming to me is 13 inches high. It is not 15 inches high. However, I had them confirm the dimensions and the girl helping me, her name is Sarah. She's been phenomenal. She did say, listen, yes, it is 13 inches high. However, I do put my 15 inch laptop in it and if you don't mind a little bit of poke through, if you don't mind a little pokes, like poking through of the laptop up at the top, it's just fine. It will fit the 15 inch, which I typically, I, I truly don't mind. And I really did like the look of this bag via the pictures she showed me. I thought the color was actually really, really cool. I'm saving it until I get it, which might definitely be a couple weeks from when I start this video but I wanted to take you in and along this journey because I think it's important that like you are aware of this, especially if you were somebody like me looking at the large Daniel as something, as a potential work bag to carry a laptop. So let's go back to the Daniel really fast and let me give you the true dimensions and I also have pictures to show 
what this bag really is. Okay, so from the top two corners, that is, in fact, 18 inches. But from the bottom, corner to corner at its base, that is 12 inches. So while you could absolutely start to fit a 15 inch laptop up at the top, because the base narrows down to 12 inches, that will not fit. The depth is four and a half inches or five, I can't think of it, but I will list it on the screen. And then from top to bottom is 11 inches. So that is the true dimensions of the large Daniel by Hammett and something that I was a little taken aback by and you know what looking back on it I guess I just didn't really notice it these rivets so these rivets are actually like almost I, I want to say distressed but that not, might not be the word but they're not smooth and I honestly thought they were defective like I had gotten smashed rivets when I got this bag but upon closer inspection on the site this is how they're advertised so that that was not Hammett's mistake that was mine for not paying attention but I, I really was kind of like taken aback and a little put off by it I, I did not I, I didn't like this distressed look of the hardware this guy is going back uh, for sure I, I, but uh, let me give you the positives to this bag okay because I feel like I've talked a lot about the negatives the leather of this bag is truly and I mean it truly stunning it is buttery soft it is just so nice to just touch it if, if you are a person that really loves the touch of leather and just you love the feel this would definitely be a bag brand i would recommend i did really genuinely like the broadness of this shoulder strap and the hardware is so substantial like you can just feel how weighted it is how heavy it is and definitely just by touch and feel again that it is quality hardware. Then if you were to open it up, let me see if I could do this one handed. The inside is this gorgeous red suede and I loved the juxtaposition of the lighter leather and this rich velvety suede. And it just feels glamorous and it looks glamorous and it's just such a nice piece to the bag. There is an internal zipper compartment, a card slot, and because I don't want to just get everything out, I will just quickly show you. On this side, you see slip compartment one, and then on either side is another slip compartment, so three slip compartments total. Now, if I were to take this tissue out, um, it definitely collapses in on itself, and I realized that after the fact that these bags are known to do that, and as you all know, I'm more of a structured girly. I definitely like bags to have a little bit more, not complete full structure, but just kind of can stay on their own. This bag cannot. But I liked these handles as well, going back to the positives, and there was a back slip compartment, which I really appreciated. But let's pack her up. And let's get her back to Hammett, and then they will send me the bag, and we will unbox it together in this video. She's packed up and she's going in the car, so I don't forget her, and we're taking her to the post office tomorrow so we can ship her back. And then hopefully in the next week or so, we get the new one and we'll do an unboxing and we'll see if we like that one better. I, I wanna say I really did love the, the quality of the leather and the color of the leather, but I, I am really excited for the next one. I honestly feel like I would have gone with that had I seen it, which you guys see, you'll understand. But to be continued. Hello guys, and welcome back to the next segment of my Hammett adventure. I feel like it has literally been a month since I touched base, but guess what we have? Let's go, oh, I'll show you. So we got some packages in. It has literally been, I think, a month since my last update with Hammett, so let me fill you in on what had happened. So you saw me kind of pack it all up, box it up, I told you that while they would not return or give me my money back, they were willing to work with me for a like a swap. So I said that worked. They sent me some selections of the bags that I like kind of met my requirements and the colors that I'd liked. I picked one and then they sent me a shipping label to ship it back to Hammett. So I packed that box all up. I got the label on. I wasn't even I didn't even look. 
took it to Walgreens because uh, it was shipping through FedEx and let it go. A couple days later, I have a package sitting on my door and I'm like, man, I, that box looks so familiar. I don't think it's my new bag. Like that looks like the same box. Why would they do that? The shipping label that they sent me was actually from Hammett to me. And thus I shipped the bag back to myself. So I contacted Hammett again and I think it took them like a few hours, maybe a day to respond. And they got me the corrected label. They were apologetic. So I finally had the corrected label. Now just due to my own busy schedule, it took me like a couple weeks to actually ship the bag out. So when I did ship the bag out finally, they actually ended up calling me just to confirm the bag that I wanted. So they actually issued me a gift card. So what I paid for the price of the original bag was actually more than the bag that I was swapping it for. And I really didn't think like anything of it. I thought we were just gonna do an even swap. And then I, I, I didn't know how much the bag, the new bag I picked out was. But regardless, I thought if it was less, I would probably just eat it. Uh, no, they actually gave me the gift card. And so they gave me like what was left on it because of the fact that this new bag was less. And I thought that was really nice. Like, like considering this entire experience, that I think that was a really big redeeming quality for me that like I did have that so that's why I have two boxes because there's two bags so lucky you guys there's a double unboxing so I've already taken the liberties of cutting the box because as you all know I hate cutting on camera so I'm just gonna delve right in I really want to get into the bag let's see how they package Hammond package is really nice I will give that like beautiful packaging beautiful boxes kind of cumbersome but I think it's all for the experience so this is kind of like what I see. Let me get it out, hold please. White was not the right color to wear today, guys. And I'm moving all around. Okay, so this is what I see. This is the box. Very pretty, very pretty packaging. We're gonna go in like this. And then the big reveal. The receipt. Very nice dust bag. It already seems to be a little small, but I was a short. Like on the phone, they called me that this would fit a 15 inch with a little peek through. So, are you ready? Am I ready? Look at it. Okay, so this is really small. <sighs> okay, so this is the bag. It is, I know the color is a mango marigold. I will put the actual style somewhere on the screen for you guys to see. It is a little bit smaller than I anticipated, but I have a 15 inch laptop here. We're gonna test it. I love the tie dye. I've never had anything like this in leather. So this is the bag. They have the signature Hammett rivets on either side. We have this slip compartment here. Let's see if the tag has the actual style. It does. It's the olive medium marigold mango tie-dye. So I am five, five for reference. That's how it is. Let me go grab my laptop. We're going to test this. Okay, y'all. So I have a 15 inch computer here. Let's try it. It did say that it was going to be some peek through. Pleasantly surprised. It does fit. Depth is not very wide. So that's slightly disappointing. Like it is a little bit smaller than I guess I had envisioned. But overall, the laptop it will at least slip in. And I think it's a very fun summer bag. So let's dive in. So this lining is a little bit different than the large Daniel I had. This says Hammett Los Angeles. And it is not that pretty suede. It is more of a material, which is fine. I don't mind it. On one side, it has this card slip compartment with the same material that's on the outside. Again, this is genuine leather. It is a magnetic snap closure with the roll top handles and on the back there is a separate slip compartment. So I would say overall a very fun summer bag. I don't think it's big enough to be my work bag that's for sure but I think I will find use for it and regardless if I do want it to fit my 15 inch laptop this will do it the other one would not. So overall I'm pleased and I will make this one work. So there's that. On to the next one. We have this little box. So this was purchased with the extra money that I had still left. 
I did have to pay a little bit more out of pocket, but not bad. I'm very curious about this one because without the gift card, I don't think I would have ever spent this kind of money on something like this. You'll see though. So, same thing, beautiful presentation, the big reveal. A lot of people say they have like a leather smell when they open the box. I can't, I don't get a leather smell, but that's just me. I, it smells fishy, honestly. So, okay, anywho, back to what we're doing. So, this is the other bag that I purchased. It is a little sling bag. And guys, this was like selling out so fast on their website. They had a few colors available and I like wanted a black on black one and I was gonna buy it the night before but was having trouble with their website but I think that was definitely more of a user error. And by the time I like figured it out the next day, the black one was gone. Uh, there is another black one that's like a red with black but I wasn't really here for that kind of like, I really wasn't here for the red on black. But this was my second favorite color. This is like a grayish, I wouldn't even, it's kind of like a stone. Let me get the style. This is the Charles paved gray we bring in the riveting here the handle which was uh, put in the complaints what in terms of the reviews that I read is not leather this is like a material it's like a, I wouldn't call it a canvas material but just so you know if that's what you're looking for that's not what you're gonna get with this one we put it on I like to wear my slip bags like this I definitely have to adjust it but look at this guy it's like there's a slip compartment here going into it let me empty it so this this is what it looks like empty let's get into it I want to see the inside you want to see the inside so I would say the lining is similar to that mango tie-dye definitely not from the large Daniel but this one instead of saying ham at Los Angeles has just these little fun very just sort of minimal H's and the inside has yet again a slip compartment here for a card and then this is a season exclusive of 2023. Let me read this to you. It says, this hammock is part of a singularly released limited drop never to be produced again. So unfortunately guys, I hope by the time you're seeing this, there is like something available if you're interested. But I didn't realize that, that this was like a single made thing and this was gonna be a one and done for hammock. But I will say, I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this bag come the summer. Okay, so. This is as far as the strap will go. It's, I feel like I'm all over the place. Okay, so there's that. I am about a size like six to eight for reference. And then again, my height is five five. So this is how it fits on my frame. I'm curious to see what it looks like with like things in it, but I, I do think I am gonna get use. And then let's see with the rivets. Ah, okay, I was like, what is peeling on them? It's just plastic to protect them. So let me show you what it looks like without the plastic. So it's just kind of like a silvery color. So there is that. So I was able to get two bags for the one large Daniel, which is nice. Again, I did have to pay a little bit out of pocket for this. This retailed for like 300. And while it's very pretty leather, feels kind of like Amy Kestenberg. Hey guys, editing Erica here. And I really wanted to clarify what I mean by Amy Kestenberg, because I feel like this was a negative connotation in the video and it didn't mean to be. I mean that Amy Kestenberg has quality, beautiful leather, and I think it's a fraction of the cost of Hammett. So I feel like I could pick up the same quality leather from Amy Kestenberg in a sling bag style for like 150, while in turn, this same type of leather for Hammett is $385 for this sling bag. That is what I meant by it. I love Amy Kestenberg products. That was not meant to be a negative derivative of Amy Kestenberg's products, not at all. So I wanted to clarify. The, the leather kind of strikes me as that. I would say the large Daniel leather definitely felt a little bit more luxurious. This feels like leather I have in my collection that I paid a lot less for, but I would, overall very pretty bags. Okay, I need your honest reaction. Now, I think it smells like something like with algae, like a fish tank or like a pond. Oh, it's pretty cute. It is cute. <laughs> oh, you know what it smells like? The ocean. That, right? Like something water, like water, like stagnant water. Yeah, it smells like the ocean. 
It smells like you go to the beach and you know what it is like the green moth? Yeah, like, like the shit? seaweed. Yeah. It's, but it doesn't smell exactly like leather. It like. doesn't smell yeah. like leather. But okay, like, like right here on the bottom of the shirt. Yeah, but we're on the same page. Like it smells like a water, like stagnant it like water. Gosh, it smells like Florida. Water. The inside smells like a new bag, but the outside smells like Florida. It, okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Alright, so you're on the love same. A bag. I love a smell on, of a new bag. Ah. <laughs> So good. It's what really are soft. what are your thoughts? It's soft, yeah. But okay, don't you feel like it feels like a lot like my Amy Kestenberg white bag? You know what it smells like inside? Not like just regular new bag. It smells like I don't even know how to describe it. Like a new bag that's been sitting in your car in a like 80 degree weather. Yeah, like it just doesn't smell good. But it definitely smells like the seaweed. Yes. I can feel it. It's really soft. I like that. I also I might actually borrow that. Yeah, you're good. To go to Italy. <laughs> Try it. Six one frame with the bag. Yeah, you know what I like about this? That it has a zipper back here. Yes, and I like this mini and I zipper think this here. Would be like just enough room for me to put Yeah. Like the And it would match my bags that I bought. Yeah, you can borrow it. Yeah, thanks. Borrowed. <laughs> I think she's bought like four bags for Italy. <laughs> no, just one, but yes. Um. I just want something, you know, like carry your passport. Yeah, but them. I like that I get a different angle with somebody who is much taller. Yeah, and I didn't adjust anything either. No, that's... And, super, and I like the strap that it's wide. Some people were actually complaining in the comments about the strap that it's not leather, but I kind of don't mind the fact that it's fabric. I, um... I wish that... I kind of almost like that it's fabric. Sometimes leather, if you wear it like this, rubs yeah, off on like Yeah, that's white true, and, and color transfers. But I thought it was interesting. Can you even remove the strap? No. Oh. Well, I guess you could. You I mean, could you move don't it need here. To, but that's very interesting. You know what feels cheap? The hardware. Agreed. Hardware feels very cheap. Like the this literally feels like plastic. Like it's gonna fall. Like even my my uh, Rebecca Minkoff is like heavier, and this one just feels like it's plastic. And you can see it's like already starting to scratch. Oh, I didn't see that. Good to know. See, so, second opinion, second set of eyes. Yeah, but overall, like the zipper is really smooth. But okay, so what do you think that bag retails for? I, I don't know what it retails for, but I'll tell you that I would not pay more than a hundred dollars for this. That bag retails for like three sixty. Yeah, three eighty five, three eighty five. Like anything over a hundred, I don't get where it comes from. Yeah. I also don't like the this material, whatever that is. That's leather. It's the same material right here, but feel it. It's like peeling leather oh it's not peeling but it feels like peeling. i think it's just the edges maybe i don't know but overall i'd say it's, it's like, a good size it's, i it's think a, i think it works in practice for the price no <laughs> and if i had to pay 360 dollars, i wouldn't but for the quality and the feel it's nice okay thank you for your opinion i have to say guys as pleased as i am with the fact that i think hammett worked to try to redeem themselves. I don't think I'll be purchasing from them for a very long time and it'll have to be a pretty decent sale. I'm very disappointed with how the entire thing went, especially with the emailing back and forth and not really kind of standing by the dimensions that they listed. I actually talked to a few of like you guys and some friends and I asked like when you hear or see 18 inches, like where do you see that measurement? Like what do you think of in terms of where that comes on the bag? And everybody thought the base, which I did too. And I think it was just a lot of mislabel mislabeling. I, w I actually looked at the reviews to see if anybody like had complained about the same thing. No one had, which I was a little shocked by. Uh, but again, like I went through the entire description too, like later on to see if maybe it was something that I had missed, like wasn't an error on my part. and. I could not personally find anything, but I, I think the back and forth, and I felt like I had to threaten, which I don't like, like that's never my intention and that's not how I want to be as a customer, but I would like, that I felt like I wasn't going to get anywhere and that's the sad part and I, I want to be completely transparent and completely honest with you, especially when it comes to bags that you're spending a lot of money on. Like these are not cheap bags. That large Daniel ran I think originally for $650 and I think if you're buying something for $650 and the dimensions are wrong, I, I, excuse my language, I'd be pissed if I had spent full price on that bag. So. 
I, I don't know, I, like I said, I would say overall, I think they did a great job of trying to come back, but there was definitely some glitches along the way. I would say the bags are just not as advertised and I'm just a little disappointed in Hammett. So again, this would be my last experience for quite a while. I think the quality is nice, especially that large Daniel, that bag was very pretty. The leather was stunning, the inside was gorgeous. I really do wish that the dimensions had worked out and, and were something that I could use. So definitely disappointing that I could not. Uh, I am curious about your Hammett experience. If this is something, a brand that you've like used for a while or you love, um, please tell me. I'm definitely interested in what you have to say. And if you've ordered something that you were kind of disappointed with the dimensions, um, I would love to know. I would love to know if, again, you loved your experience. Please let me know. But anywho, thank you for coming with me on this, what felt like a very long journey of getting here. <laughs> We're here, we've made it. I really appreciate you guys coming along and thank you for letting me be honest and transparent with you. And again, I hope to never deter you from any brand or trying anything. I encourage you all to try any any bag brand that you're interested in, whether I say I liked it or not. I think that's all subjective and you may love it. And I never, ever, ever want to use these videos as a way of deterring you. I just want to use these videos as a way of sharing my experience and what I had gone through. So there's that. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, a phenomenal week ahead, and I cannot wait to catch you in the next video. Bye guys!